Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. This is Don. Costantino. I think I want to introduce us on the next video. You introduce you, us on all of them. Why don't you do it right now? Hey guys, we are performers play sports care. <laughs> <laughs> I am Don Costantino. This is Sebastian Gonzalez. Seb. Sebby Seb. Seb. <laughs> <laughs> we are locally world famous according to Mr. Sebby Seb. <laughs> See, it's harder to, we're going to keep this whole thing, it's harder to introduce than she thinks. I just, I don't know why I laugh so much. So we're going to cover today <laughs> sciatica causes, okay? Yes. We have a couple models to show you guys. Um, just to let you know, the, the, again, the primary ones is going to be disc, uh, disc herniation. There's various different degrees. And by the way, if you have a disc herniation, it is not a death sentence to go have surgery done. There'll be a whole other video on that. Go on your channel, mm -hmm. search it. Okay, that's the next one then, huh? That could be another one. All right. So, um, so I guess we should start with the disc, probably. Sure. So why don't you explain the disc and maybe show why it is a driver of sciatica? Cool. What is sciatica, by the way? Sciatica is irritation to the L4, 5, S1 levels, nerve roots in your low back. It might have been too complicated. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Okay. Here, I'm going to use both of these models. We're going to get into disc, okay? But if we look here at our Mr. Bob, what, what did you, Bob Norman? Bob Norman. Bob Norman here. I'm going to come up a little bit, okay? Oh. Now we're okay. We're okay. All right, good. So if you look at him, this is his low back, right? And so you have five levels in the low back, which is what I was talking about. So five, four, three, and then above the camera, there's two and one. But if you look at these nerve roots, L4, L5, S1, all of those, they combine and they make a huge nerve. This guy? This, this guy. That goes all the way down the back side of the leg. This camera, you know, I'm just, I'm not succeeding very well in, in uh, showing that. But basically those levels combine, they go and supply all the muscles in the low back. And so what can press on those nerves and cause irritation? It could be a disc, and so we have a model here. So here is your vertebra, vertebra, disc here. This is one of those nerves that contribute to your sciatic nerve. And when you go through things like flexion and compression, you see that little thing come out there. That's the jelly material inside of your disc that can press on these nerve roots here. And I keep hitting the camera, so let me try that one more time. Boom. Over time, repetitively, or just like one big lift or something of that sort can cause that irritation. Press on this nerve. When that nerve gets irritated, you start to tend to feel it down the contributing areas of the sciatic That's right. nerve. The, the contributing areas, since I'm more in view than Don is, it's going to be usually here, back side of the thigh. It can be in the side here or in the back side of the calf to the bottom of the foot or the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, Those are common spots. And, and I'll explain stenosis then. And by the way, I think it's probably important just to think about too, about age on this. And, and, uh, most people under the age of 40 or so are gonna probably have a disc most of the time. Stenosis is more of like your buildup, your bony changes, which you might people might say, oh, it's arthritis. Um, but you'll see it on an MRI or X-ray, they'll talk about stenosis, just foraminal or central stenosis. Sten stenosis just means narrowing of a hole. Think of it like my finger, I'm just narrowing it because of bony changes in there. Now, um, there's one guy I know that he made a really good comment about uh, stenosis. I said, when is stenosis a problem? He's like, when it becomes a problem. Stenosis is not an indication of, of having sciatica either, nor is a disc herniation. They're just possible reasons. But there's a lot of people that have stenosis that have no sciatica. There's people that have disc pain that have no sciatica. And so the areas we're going to talk about are down here, uh, Don had mentioned too. But um, I'm going to go up here just because it's easier to show, obviously, wrong levels. But you see into here, these, these little nervy guys, which she showed too, and they come out of these little holes. The holes are called the foramen. Um, when we bend sideways, these foramen open, and when you bend backwards, they close. Okay, they close down, and they pinch onto that little nerve. The nerve doesn't like it. He says, "Hey, man, what's up? Stop pinching me." Um, in Don's model, the contact happens. I yeah, I could have. Uh, the contact happens via the disc because she's bending them forward versus I'm bending them backwards. Um, and usually with stenosis, again, it creates a little bit of a pinch point on the nerve and then it sends the stuff down the leg. The nerve can become swollen. Um, again, you don't always need MRIs and x-rays to start care with stuff like this, and most of the time you don't. 
Um, people with disc herniations come in all the time. We don't need an MRI or an X-ray to do to start care with them. It's just um, it's just extra information. And usually we'll refer out for an image if someone has big problems like they can't walk or they're tripping on rugs and they're having changes of bowel or bladder functions, they can't get all their urination out, or they're having numbness in the shape of a saddle under their, under their groin area. Those are what we call the big red flags for, for nervy stuff of the, of the leg. Um, so, but you don't always need an image unless you have those things mm -hmm. or other types of weird things too. Mm -hmm. Okay, And so that's with sciatica. Now can you deadlift with sciatica? sciatica? Sure. That's a whole other video we did. Yeah, we did a video on that. Let's not get into <laughs> that because we tend to we tend to do that. We mesh things together. But you can search that, you guys, on our channel. Um, what did we name it? Can you deadlift or squat with sciatica? I think I think if or you should look, I? I think if you look something like that up, you'll probably find it on our channel. Yeah. Okay. You guys are looking. Do you want to close us? Sure. Since the opening was so good. Yeah. Try not to laugh. Anyways, so subscribe, guys. <laughs> Seb does this thing where he just like when he's talking, he's like. So I'm going to try that. Subscribe or somewhere around our video. We never know where it is. That's why we always do this Turn somewhere. Um, but we have tons of videos that we've put out like this before. Um, hip, IT band, piriformis, low back, sciatica, whatever is going on with you, just go to our channel and search for it. Um, we are located in Huntington Beach, California. We can help you figure out what could be the potential cause of your pain that you're having. Um, you can come see us. We're open. We do virtual, that's something that we do as well. Just send us an email, we'd love to chat with you, we'd love to recommend what we think would work best for you. Um, did I forget anything? No, Locally it's just your- world famous. Locally world famous, chiropractors. Yes. We'll see you guys next time.